This is our 85 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around. We'll show close ups of all of the cosmetic blemishes. Then there'll be some shots of the interior as well as under the hood. So this is a original paint survivor car, 1985 being the final year of the rear wheel drive Fleetwood Brougham two door. Um, it's an interesting color. It's light sage metallic over a midnight sage velour interior. Really cool color combo. Uh, as you can see here in the video in direct sunlight, it's just, it's a great, great, great color. The car has 73,400 original miles on it. It's a two owner, uh, clean Carfax, local car here since new. Uh, it was sold in downtown Chicago in 85 and then has resided in a suburb ever since. Uh, the gentleman that we purchased it from had bought it from his neighbor, the original owner. There was only one panel on the car that has been resprayed, and that is the passenger rear quarter. It was done very well, it appears as factory. The rest of the car, as confirmed with an alcometer, is original paint. The polished surfaces are all very, very good, mirror-like, minimal oxidation. Uh, the glass and light lenses are all clear and crack-free. The filler panels in the rear are good. The passenger front filler panel has a hairline crack in it. The color matching is quite good. Uh, from here, it looks like there's some white on those filler panels. That's actually just wax. Um, from when we detailed the car, it does come off, you know, with a fingernail or a uh, abrasive towel. That midnight, or sorry, medium sage top. Excellent shape, really no real signs of age whatsoever. Body is totally straight. No dents or significant dings. Car was very well taken care of. The wheels, uh, no curb rash or significant damage, though the passenger uh, passenger rear wheel is missing the center cap. You can see the roof there. Very, very nice. Now here are all the blemishes on the car. down low. You can see that the pinstripes, nice green stripes, are all perfectly intact. Get down to the rockers. Very clean down there. Some dings at the rear portion of the driver door. And then there is a very light scratch on the driver rear quarter, right in the middle, about four inches long. And then you can see on the midline trim there, it was just a little bit of age. There's that wax that I had mentioned. Uh, the color matching is perfect right there. The wax will come right off. Now, while it is 30 degrees in this video, the car does smoke a little bit. It's, it's primarily on startup, and we've done a pretty comprehensive uh, inspection on the car and do feel good about it. We flushed fluids and we'll continue to drive it. Um, and do expect the smokiness to go away, but there's a little bit of, you know, spicy exhaust coming out of there. You can see a touched up chip there. Again, the rocker clean. Uh, please refer to the listing for a write-up of what was done in that inspection when we got it last month. Fairly comprehensive, check compression, everything looks good. There's the hairline crack in the filler panel, passenger front. Now the interior, Midnight Sage, great color. Interior is pretty impressive. The flashing lights on the stereo and all those power systems there, that's actually just how the iPhone interacts. Uh, it doesn't actually look like that in person. But the door panels are in nice shape with no kicked open markings or real damage. Uh, the dash shows no discoloring, cracking, warping, nothing like that. The AM FM cassette, uh, the power antenna doesn't work, so it only take cassettes at the moment, uh, but you can hear the speakers kick on play static. 73,500 miles odometer is functional and accurate. All the other gauges are functional, including outside thermometer. Uh, all the interior lights are all functional. Seats really show minimal wear at all. Um, no scuffs, significant, you know, no, no real signs of age. See the outer bolsters are very nice under the seat belts. Take a look to the back seat, it's much of the same. 
the headliner is nice and tight. The car runs and drives very well.